Today we are going to sketch the parent graph of y equals tangent x. We already have filled this table in. Now others are going to ask, like, how did you get these numbers for, um, on this table? So we actually have a video on that that's talking about um, filling in the table for the parent function y equals tangent x. I will put the link of that video on the description box below. So let's get started. We start with 0 is 0, so it's going to be over here. 30 is 0 0.5. By the way, this, this goes by 0 0.5. So 0 0.57 for 30. So it should be somewhere around here. And then um, 45 is at 1. So it's right here. And then 60 is 1.756. So 1 1.7 should be somewhere around here for 60. And then... 90 is an asymptote. Remember, if it's an asymptote, it is a broken line. So I'm going to draw a broken line on um, um, 90. And so we move on to the next one. 120 is negative 1.73. So it's going to be 1.73 somewhere around here. And then 135 is a negative 1. So it's right here. And then 150 is negative 0 0.577. So 150 is negative 0 0.1, 0 0.577. So it's going to be somewhere around here. And then 180 is a 0. And then 210 is... Uh, 0 0.577, so 0 0.577 is somewhere around here. And then uh, 225 is a positive 1, so it's somewhere around here. And then for 240 is 1.7732, so it's 240, so it should be somewhere around here. And then 270 is an asymptote, so I'm going to draw a broken line over here. And then for um, 300 is negative 1.732, so it's down here. 315 is a negative 1, so it should be here. And then uh, 330 is negative 0 0.577, so that should be um, somewhere around here. 0 0.5. 77 seven is somewhere around here and then um, 360 is 0 that should go here and so we can sketch the graph the parent graph so that should go that way so it's a line that goes towards the asymptote this line is going to go towards the asymptote as well it's going to look like that and then this line right here is going to go up going to the asymptote and then this line right here is going this way to the asymptote so this is one cycle of tangent function now if we have a negative it's gonna be the other way around so it's gonna go this way it's gonna go that way and it's gonna go the other way so the negative y equals negative tangent it's gonna be the opposite so this is just one cycle if you think this video is helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!